ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರುಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಅಶ್ಚಿಪಾಸಿಂಧು ಬಿಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ಪಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚೈವನರುತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರನ್ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಂಚನ ತಂ ಸರನ್ನ ಭೀತಾತ್ಹಂ ಪುನತು ಪಾಲ್ಲುಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನ ಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗಭುವಧುಷ್ ಪುರುಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸ ಸಾಗರ ಖಾ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಂ ಕರಶ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಆದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಆದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾಬಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೂ ದ್ವಿಜವರೂ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲು ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನೋಂಗು ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನುಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಭೀತ್ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 
क्लेशाग्नि शुभोधा मोक्ष लघुता कृत सुदुर्लभ सान्द्रानंद विशेष आत्मा श्रीकृष्णाकर्षणी चौसा क्लेशाग्नि शुभोधा मोक्ष लघुता कृत सुदुर्लभ सान्द्रानंद विशेष आत्मा श्रीकृष्णाकर्षणी चौसा गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वी भगवान परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट लॉजिकल इंटरप्रिटेशन लॉजिकल इंटरप्रिटेशन कैन नॉट स्टैंड इन द वे ऑफ देर एब्सिल्यू ट्रूथ गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वी भगवान said that logical interpretation cannot stand in the way of that absolute truth if we like to apply our logic if we start argument then that aprakritatva get vanished from you cannot appear in front of you if we start logical interpretation if we start argument in that case that aprakita tattva cannot stand in front of me can vanish from me silo popad used to say each and every fraction of second we should try to watch the mercy of guru pad padma each and every fraction of second we can seek the mercy of guru pad padmo otherwise there is no alternative way no other way open before us bhakti is not so easy to get bhagwan already told mai bhakti hi bhutanam amrito tahe karpate then what to speak about kamanuga bhakti which is which is most rare bhakti is very rare sudur lava in the definition of bhakti rupuga sai was speaking klesh agni you have bhakti or not you can realize that you cannot fall you cannot feel any problem in your life you cannot feel any problem all the time is full क्लेश अग्नि मैं क्लेश मीन क्लेश मीन डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पेनफुल एक्सपीरियंस डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पेनफुल एक्सपीरियंस वी आर फीलिंग इन आवर लाइफ दैट इज कॉल्ड क्लेश अग्नि क्लेश ऑल जीवा इन दिस इन्फिनिटी वर्ल्ड देर इज नो सच ए जीवा वी इज नॉट फीलिंग एनी प्रॉब्लम तो क्लेश आग्नि एनी काइंड ऑफ क्लेश क्लेश कैन कम डिफरेंट वे लाइक आध्यात्मिक आदि भौतिक आदि दो आध्यात्मिक यू डोंट नो व्हाई यू आर फीलिंग रेस्टलेस यू आर फीलिंग सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम यू आर नॉट फीलिंग सेटिस्फैक्शन समथिंग रेस्टलेसनेस इन साइड इट इज कॉल आध्यात्मिक यू आर नॉट गिविंग special prasadam to your atma you are not you are not giving special prasadam to your atma you are giving food to your body that is why that's why some sort of restlessness you don't know why you are feeling so no satisfaction that is called adhyatmic adhidoivik suddenly you are sleeping in the night time suddenly flood coming and taking all your inundated all your room or children wipe all gone you never expected this kind of problem but it's coming one man gone gone outside for some reason he come back he find all his room some thunderbolt coming all electrical instrument tv computers all dressed up lightning fall down 
all electric, just all fridge, all. It's called Adhidoivik. We have no information when earthquake coming, you know. So many countries. Suddenly they are taking bath in sea. Suddenly is tsunami coming. All in under, all big, big building, all plate in terms of God. In our country also, Madras, night time, Kerala, night time, all gone. This way, you don't know when this kind of problem can come in your life. But you must be ready with your Nambhajan. We know, we don't know when we can go. Adi Bhautik means suddenly you are going, some dog going to bite you. And no reason, you have done nothing. Dog going to bite. This kind of painful situation of everybody. You're not feeling satisfaction. That's why Kleshagni means this kind of problem cannot stay in your life. If you are going to get Bhakti, Sarup Shakti Kipa. Bhakti means Sarup Shakti herself coming. Bhakti means Sarup Shakti Kipa coming. Sometimes we think we have Bhakti. Sometimes we think we have bhakti, but we don't know we have, really we have bhakti or not. We think we have bhakti. Like Kanishto Adhikari, Kanishto Adhikari bhakti, actually you cannot say, his devotee you cannot say. Kanishto Adhikari, devotee you cannot say. That Kanishto Adhikari, by the order of Guru Padma, Hearing something not appropriate Harikata and thinking, well, Guru Padma think this deity is a, a Prakita. But you have no realization. Oh, Guru Padma told this is a Prakita. Oh, what is a Prakita? What is Prakita? You have no idea. You are going to worship. How you are worship? You have no proper bhakti. Actually, you have no proper bhakti. So you are going to attribute some bhakti. By the, by the advice of Guru Padma, is a prakita, Radha Gavin. With this conception, you are doing arsip. It is attributed bhakti. Arop. Arop shita. You, are, you have no bhakti, genuine no bhakti. But you think, okay, all Kanishtadik are these. Oh, Guru Vaishnava should be paid. Dhanavada, they are exalted. But you don't know from your heart what is the glory, what is the glories of Guru Vaishnava. We have no idea. This way, sometimes we are doing Harinam also. What we are doing, we don't know. Popad used to say, whenever you are doing Harinam, Actual Harinam means with each and every Harinam you can meet with Bhagavan. I know you cannot believe, you can laugh. But Prabhupada speaking, to do Harinam means to meet with Bhagavan. Each and every Harinam you can do, you can see clearly. Jagannath you can see, or Radha Kund, Sam Kund, whatever. Whenever you like to see anything, you can have a Whenever you desire to see Radha Kun, you can see Radha Kun. Not that you are not at, at, at the bank hall. Uh, Radha Kun, long away, uh, 16,100 uh, kilometers away, not that. This is called, actually, pure bhakti is darshan. Ordinary devotees cannot do. Icha matena darshanam janti. Icha matrena, whenever desire to see Jagannath. Exactly can see Jagannath. Not that he can make one plane ticket or train ticket and go from here. That is called the darshan of pure devotees. And each and every harina, first of all, I can explain gradually, you should not feel disgusted. Bhakti Mantra was speaking, 
in the be in the beginning there is no question of any result in the beginning starting you cannot get you can feel disgusted but bhakti went to speaking don't lose your patience go on doing under the guidance of a pure guru vishnu or sat guru go on doing some day you can feel the name you know going to show you everything but in the beginning there is no possibility because first of all honor to can go away na actual bhakti cannot come bhajan ek kriya all they are coming to take diksha everything maximum they can start bhajan ek kriya or even not that bhajan ek kriya after bhajan ek kriya after the guidance of guru vishnu after the bhajan ek kriya you can go on bhajan ek kriya mean one kind of practice you can say plain way one kind of practice yes sir. so you cannot feel any enjoyment after bhajan ek kriya some day if you are enjoying actual kripa of sadguru then you can start sadhan bhakti sadhan bhakti the starting point is i can declare that you are going to enjoy the kripa of sarup shakti bhakti devi sadhan bhakti starting mean now you are going to get the favor of bhakti devi sadhan bhakti and the sadhan bhakti gradually can give you bhav bhakti prem bhakti is long this way a prem bhakti also i saw sneho man pranay bhav mahabhav all different kind of so is extreme point so first of all we like to clarify this point kleshagni kleshagni me all different kind of problem i mean you are feeling restlessness or different kind of situation you are facing you are not feeling any satisfaction inside heart some sort of dissatisfaction all is there all is there so when when you can cut all different kind of dissatisfaction that's when you are approaching this kleshagni point that's when you are approaching the kleshagni point kleshagni a shubhada mean shubhada mean actually shubho mean mangal da mean to give you shubho da shubhada mane bhakti can give you shubho shubho mane no amangal can stand apparently some amangal can come but can vanish amangal cannot stand shubhada always going to best to you shubho mangal no amangal in a, in a species thing you cannot find shubhada so kleshagni shubhada are moksha if somebody thinking about moksha you can feel disgust that day to know kaival narakayate tidas pura kas pus puspayate i told you so you can feel useless what you can do because moksha mean moksha mean you are going to ignore bhakti moksha moksha mean you know you are going to ignore you are going to ignore bhakti you are going to ignore bhakti you don't like to feel that bhakti bhakto and bhagwan is the same plane and there is eternal presence of guru vishnu bhagwan dham naam your bhakti all eternally present you cannot not possible to think so in that case kleshagni shubhada moksha logujakri you can feel disgust devotees ne never expects moksha moksha mean atyantik dukha nivritti moksha mean in sanskrit atyantik dukha nivritti mane you cannot feel any pain anymore but what is the utility our vaishnav darshan is tumar shevai dukho hai jato seo to param su any amount of problem i need to face in the way of my service to you i am very happy to i am very happy to accept it i can never say oh so much pain it's uh, far better to stay in solitary place and do hari nam bhad useless you cannot say this way 
you have, if you speak this way, then you are not devotee. The Tomar Shebai Dukhohai Yato Shyoto Paramsu. The more you are facing problem, the more you are feeling this. Very happy. So much happiness. That happiness is bhakti. That is not material happiness. Transcendental bliss. One kind of transcendental bliss you are feeling inside heart. Klesa Agni Shubhada, Moksha Lagata, Sudur Lava. Sudur Lava means people think it's one kind of false philosophy. Not that. So rare bhakti. Can you count the number of jiva in this earth? You cannot count. Out of that, how many jivatma taking the form of human being? What Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami? Krishna Das Kaviraj making one comparative statement. Nahin, Chaitanya Jyotima. You don't know. There is comparative statement. Jalochar, aquatic elements, Thalochar, this all. Tar Muddhe Manusya Yati Oti Alpotaro. Huh? After that, Buddha, Pulindo, Savaro. After that, some group going to accept bhakti externally. Out of that, who else going to accept bhakti? Mane, Ved Nishiddo Karmo Kare Dharma Nahi Kare. Out of all population, crowds of people, a handful of people going to accept. Veda. Ah, Veda is okay. Veda is right. But actually they are not going to accept Veda from heart. By they are only Bharwali they are going to face. Ved Nishitto Karmo Kare Dharma Nahi Kare. They Bharwali accept Veda. Oh, Veda is okay. Ved. Ah, Ved. But accept, you are, they are not going to accept Veda from heart. Because they are doing, doing, they are doing what is not prescribed in Veda. What is prohibited in Veda, they are doing. Out of that, some of them Veda accept Veda and going to regulate. This way, if you calculate, you can go mad. Who going to accept Bhagavan? Who is going to do actual bhakti? And out of that extreme point, man, Shuddha Bhakta, how many you can get? So it's very rare. Shudur Lava. After that, Klesagni Shubhada, Mukhya Lagatukhi, Shudur Lava, Shandra Anandha. You can feel one dense Ananda, man, Ghani Bhutu. What is called dense mean? Like one Rasa. Rasa. You are trying to get maturity of the rasa. The rasa becomes more dense and more tasty. So, Shandra Anandra means a ghanibhuta ananda. You don't know why all your heart is illuminated by one Shuddha Shato, brightness. Always you feel Visham Purna Sukhayate. You feel all, there is no problem in the world. You can feel this kind of. In that case, you can feel. So, Shanda Ananda Vishet has some speciality. Bhakti is going to give you some speciality all the time. Speciality regarding your Siddhanta Vishal, speciality regarding your Seva. After that, what? This your bhakti inside your heart can pull Bhagavan, can catch Bhagavan like magnet. Sri Krishna Karsani Chosa. It can pull Krishna. Krishna cannot stay. Krishna likes to stay away, but you are pulling Krishna. Krishna can come away to you. That is why Naraji Maharaj speaking. Krishna don't like to give bhakti to everybody. He in Chaitanya Jiva also like to keep aside, backside, secretly. Very rare case, sometimes giving bhakti. Because if Krishna is going to give bhakti to somebody, then Krishna is 
bound to follow that devotee. Krishna become under his control. Aham bhakta paradhino hi asatantra ibodhiyo. Aham bhakta paradhin. I am regulated by devotees. I am controlled by devotees. That's why Bhagavan usually don't like to give bhakti. Very rare. Sometimes not going to take anything already tested after that Krishna giving bhakti. Naruji Ma speaking, Dadati, Dadati Muktim Smana Bhakti Yogam. Even Bhagavan likes to give Mukti, Mukti, Mukti. Five types of Mukti. Four and another special type. Five. And take Mukti. But Bhakti, Nadan, in Chaitanya Jo is written, Bhakti, Nadan, Rakhen, Lukaya. Lukaya means keeping secretly. Bhakti, Nadan, Rakhen, Lukaya. Because if bhakti given then, then big problem. That's why usually we find bhakti is very rare. People can feel very sorry, but they will have to know the truth. Otherwise, Naraji Maharaj, by the association of Naraji Maharaj, that cruel hunter developing bhakti by the association of Naraji Maharaj, cruel hunter getting bhakti. They are getting bhakti. This way, so many cases we can say by the association of pure devotees, somebody developing bhakti. Actually, there is no question of bhakti in their life. But suddenly, by association of pure devotee, they are developing bhakti. Follow. Sangha Siddha Bhakti. By the association of some pure devotees, you are going this kind of bhakti. Sarup Sukta Bhakti is very rare. I can discuss someday. So, Prabhupada speaking, that suppose, Prabhupada always speaking, in the beginning, in the beginning, there is no chance that you can get everything. Papa speaking, suppose one small boy, in our Vedic culture, there is a system, when the boy growing up, you will have to allow that boy to start writing and reading in front of Shuddha Saraswati. In front of Saraswati, with one slate, stone, and we have some chalk, you know, chalk. Then one Pandit coming and speaking, Oh, he catching the hand of the boy in the lap, right. Oh, this way. Ah, this way. This way, this is a system in our Vedic culture. This is a system. Whenever one boy or girl start reading, writing, there is a system in front of Saraswati, Pandit, or, and, or in my life also so many boys, they request me, I take a lap and allow them to, in front of Saraswati. Radharani, our Saraswati, Radharani, our Saraswati, Radharani, or Vishnu Biyadevi, no problem. So, this is a system. So, if the small boy, when Pandi is speaking, call it his awe, oh, you speak out, awe. Oh. If the small boy start arguing, what is the document that I can speak awe? Oh. <laughs> what is the document? Why should I go? If somebody is speaking, the small boy, then what will happen? Then his education, educational life cannot start. Same example, Papa speaking. In the beginning you are coming, you know nothing. Then you will have to understand, you will have to obey the instruction of Guru Vaishnava, first of all. Because bhajana kriya, no feeling. So you can start argument. If you start argument, then you can lose everything. So if one small boy, in the beginning of education, start fighting, what is the document that I can say it is, or oh, ah, oh, ko, ko, why? Why do you show me document? Then not possible. Because in that, because 
in the starting, you will have to accept without any argument. After some time, when you can grow the knowledge of word, sentence, everything, then go upper class, you can roll all different study subject matter, go graduation, post-graduation, this way. This is the procedure. So in the beginning, if you start argument, you cannot get. It's not possible to get. And main problem is there, our karma. Main problem is our karma. Karma. Karma can make us blind. Karma always going to make us blind. Karma cannot see anything. Karma is going to put one screen in front of us. So that we can never know any Tattva, Siddhanta, we can never know what is Guru Tattva, Vaishnava. You show me realization, you know? Even Popa speaking without realizing Vishuddha Guru Tattva. Popa speaking without realizing Vishuddha Guru Tattva, even you cannot start Hari Bhajan. Without realizing Vishuddha Guru Tattva, you cannot start your Hariva. Even you cannot start, starting is not that. Who can speak you this kind of secret thing? That is the main point. Nobody likes to speak. Because big problem, headache, everybody can come and put question or answer, what is this, what is that? Like to avoid. So this is the condition of our devotional life. So even we cannot start Hari Bhajan in our life without realizing that Guru Tattva. Exactly. When I am established, when I am already established in Guru Tattva, hours after hour I can speak about Guru Tattva from heart because Guru, Guru Tattva coming inside my heart. All who is Guru? In that case, actual Hari Bhajan can start. Sarup Siddha Bhakti is not so easy. Can discuss some point anyway. So, actually, Popa speaking this way, pure Bhakti is almost rare. Today I was speaking in Hindi, Hindi Harikatha. That and Rupa Goswami Path is a commander, military commander. And all battalions, you know, all military men, they are ready to fight, combat. They are ready to combat with the adversive situation. Adverse means non-bhakti, wayward, devotees, their conception, jogi, gani, and sahajya. We are ready to fight, combat, fight with that group. Rupa Goswami Sanatani Goswami is the commander in chief and Swarup Gosai is the topmost head, he is a king. King is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, anyway. But Swarup Gosai is the top overall in charge. Even any commander who should get in connection with him. And what is their missile? What is their you know astra weapon? Sankirtan. The weapon is Sankirtan. They are going to take help of Sankirtan. And Siddhanta Visha, nobody can stand. Nobody can stand. They can come, but they cannot stand. They can come with argument, but they cannot stand. Because they are under the guidance of Rupa Goswami Path. How they can stand? It's not possible. No? So this way, Jiva Goswami Path is going to, going to take the charge of Sanatana Rupa. This way, our Vishwa Vishnap Sabha was effective up to certain point. After that, now, no useful meaning. It's one kind of game. No useful meaning. So, Prabhupada speaking, that Shuddha Bhakti is so rare. First of all, we should understand that Prabhupada speaking, we cannot in engage Bhagavan in our seva. Many times, Prabhupada speaking, Baba speaking, we are not serving Bhagavan. We are going to engage Bhagavan in our service. That is the main problem. We are not serving Bhagavan. 
unconditional surrender, unconditional serving temperament not there. Some or certain contamination there. That is called karma. And if you go on fulfilling, if you go on fulfilling your karma, one by one, one by one, one desire fulfilled, another desire, another desire, this way you can, you can go on fulfilling. But in infinite period, you cannot find any saturation point. No kamaha kamanam upabhogena sammati. No kamaha kamanam upabhogena sammati. Kam, you cannot get satisfaction by enjoying kama. Before starting devotional practice, you should understand. Today you can fulfill your mind, tomorrow another demand can come. And this is called actually contamination. That's why Prabhupada many times used to say, karma kandi or different kind of contamination means non-bhakti, not bhakti. First of all, we should reach this kind of point where there is no demand. No kamaha kamanam upabhoge na sammati. Havisha kishno vatmaivo bhuyo evavi vardhati. Like in the fire, Fire is growing. If you are going to add ghee in the fire, clarified body, the flame can increase and never. No kamaha kamanam upabhogena sammati. By enjoying kama, by enjoying kama, infinity years, you can never come to a saturated point. This is the arrangement of maya. This is the arrangement. Never, you can never say, I am satisfied. Never say. Havisha Krishna Bhatmaiva. Like Havisha Mane, actually Jagya, Ghee and everything we putting in, in the fire. Bhuyo Evabi Bhardhati. The fire can increase. Havisha Krishna Bhatmaiva. Bhuyo Evabi Bhardhati. It can go on increasing never. That's why Devavati Mahath was fed up. That's why Puru Rava was fed up. Puru Rava was fed up by enjoying Urvashi. Urvashi enjoying Puru Rava. And Puru Rava enjoying Urvashi. Who is enjoying whom? We don't know. Who is enjoying whom? But both matter, na? Urvashi body is matter. Prakriti. And Puru Rava is also matter, is body matter. Only externally male and female. All prakriti. And the purus inside pururoba and the purus inside eh, urvashi. Purus mean in the body. This body can be compared with temple. In this body, paramatma, jivatma staying. That's why. So pure dehe basati iti purusha. So pururoba, inside pururoba, that purus is there. Inside Inside Urvashi Purusha is there. I mean Chinmay Atma. Though covered up with Maya, Chinmay Atma is there. Because matter ha cannot have any uh, personal desire, nothing. So who can enjoy? Answer is that the Atma inside Pururva, who has false ego, then am Purush, and the Atma inside Jivatma, inside Urvashi, having some feeling of enjoyment. That is so Purush and Prakriti. Shankho Yog, you know. Shankho Yog as a basic point. By the by the joint, by the joint venture of Prakriti and Purush, this world is constructed. Whole. They one kind of magic spell. So nobody never can come to a saturated point. Never. So, Bhagavan speaking to Uddhav, only my bhakti can destroy all the desire, all the contamination, or any kind of thing. Like the case, I can give one example, where the excellency of bhakti yoga. Like 
I can give the example. You have no detailed information because everything not written in Chaitanya Charitam Chaitanya Bhagavad. It is complete, itself complete. But so many information is not there because not possible. It's Siddhanta Granth. We'll have to depend upon so many authentic scripture. There we can know. Here also it is written. Mahaprabhu also told about Jagai Madai. So much sinful activities done in life. They even you cannot count. Even you cannot count. So killing, dog robbery, you know, or everything, drinking wine, what not. But still, when Nityananda wanted to deliver them, Sankalpa, determination by Nityananda. So Mahaprabhu can never ignore. Mahaprabhu can never ignore, na? How possible? So, Mahaprabhu is also, because he is the determination of Nityananda. You break the head. After that, Mahaprabhu, anyway, I am not going, going in details. Because Nityananda wanted to give bhakti, deliver. Nityananda speaking to Gauranga, if you cannot deliver them, if you cannot deliver them, how eh, people can believe that you are Patit Pavan, you are coming for to deliver all Jiva. So you will have to deliver. After that, finally, Gorang Mahapu was ready. First of all, he wanted to call Sudarshan. But the main point I like to say that Gorang Mahapu, after giving bhakti to them, after giving bhakti to them, giving warning to all devotees, after giving bhakti to them, Mahapu giving warning to all devotees, nobody, never in future, nobody, never in future can speak anything about their past life. Mahaprabhu speaking. Now they are devotee. If you speak about their past life, oh, Dakar, you are woman asus. Cannot speak. Mahaprabhu himself giving word. You can open. Now they are pure. Even Mahaprabhu dancing with Jagai and Madai. Even Sankirtan. Murari Uta Karcha. So many documents we have. Through which so, you see the facility of bhakti. But if you ask Jagai Madhai to go in the way of Gansiddhi, they cannot do. If you ask them, you can go in the way of Jagai So much trouble. They have to purify fast. In the way of your Gansiddhi, if some contamination there, you cannot get Siddhi. And every possibility of fall down. But bhakti, I already told Bhagavan giving, it is the standing commitment of Bhagavan. Bikarmo jachyot patitam kathanchit dhanoti sarvam hidisanni vishto. If some by chance something unusual thing happening in their life, I can purify themselves, no problem. This way, Bhagavan, the standing commitment of Bhagavan. And what about Raganuga Bhakti, and specialist out of Raganuga, specialist Rupanuga, I mean Kamanuga Bhakti. Rupanuga Bhakti means Kamanuga, same. Kamanuga Bhakti. Outside people cannot believe. Outside people can speak all rubbish. Because those Gopikas feeling attraction for Krishna is very bad. Krishna is man, they are woman, not that. Krishna is not man, not woman. And in Rayanamananda Sangmat, Rayamasha already, already told, Na ham Ramani, I am not woman and Krishna is not man. You can go through Rayanamananda, actual versa. Actually, I publish in Bengali, English already there, but no time to edit. If it is edited, you can go mad. You cannot expect this kind of short, small book. So clear conception, no complicacy, no complicacy, so straight. 
all people, those who gone through that book, they feel very high, high class books. Very. It was originally compiled by one, our, you know, some sannyasi is very he used to do bhajan. After that, it was in crude form. They requested me. I total overall I changed everything. I, I mean, where to touch, and then it was finalist. Very nice. It was on the basis of the lecture given by Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada at the bank of Godavari in Kabur. Even that sannyasi is, he only wanted to comply what Prabhupada told him. So I was very lucky. He gone from this material world. His disciple almost mad. Outside people can think mad. He loved me very much. Suddenly, in course of travelling different forest, I reach there in Bhuteshwar. Suddenly, the devotee is speaking, Maharaj, I am thanking, I am searching you. Or why? His name is Chote Lal. Long history, I cannot speak. Near Bhuteshwar, one broken temple. Usually, I go there. Previously, now no time. <laughs> He is speaking, Maharaj, I am searching you. Why you are searching me? I, I am useless. Oh, no, my Guru Maharaj came in dream and speaking, Hey, you publish this book, get it edited by some. I don't know. He is going to hand over that crude when writing, papers all. To me, I say, okay, no. He is very poor. I am also poor, he is poor. <laughs> So finally he gives some donation. I also, some pranami that long ago, for maybe 14 years back, 15 years back, that book I published. There it is written clearly, everybody not giving this portion. Radharani is speaking to Lalita. Lalita, actually don't think I am woman and Krishna is man. Our our love affair is not depend upon this factor. That's he is man, I am woman. Radharani is speaking. How? I don't know why. We are not engaging any any uh, I mean messenger. Sometimes in love affair, duty, duty. Go on inform. No, nobody there. It's an automatic factor. Radharani is speaking. Hello. So externally you can think is very dirty. But his topmost purity in Aprakiti Jagat, in Prakriti Jagat, in material world, heroine, 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 heroine relationship is very dirty. But in Aprakiti Jagat, Aprakito, hero, Krishna, and Gopika is topmost excellent. Mane, nothing above that. Nothing above that. Mahaprabhu wanted to establish his Siddhanta. Mahaprabhu himself, in his whole Lila, Gradually wanted to establish this, this, same thing. Now nothing beyond this, live a love affair. Nothing beyond this. This is the topmost, excellent point. Now, Bhagavan speaking, material people criticizing, material people criticizing, but Krishna speaking, no maya vishita manaha kamaha kamaya kalpati. When somebody is thinking about me, love me, it seems like kama, but not kama. Bhagavan Sikh is no speaking in Bhagavatam. After Bhastaran Lila, I. Uh, uh, after Bhastaran They are going to speak to all as friends. No maya vishita kamaha, no maya vishita manaha, no maya vishita manaha, kamaha kamaya kalpati. Bhajita kutita dhana, prayo bijayo no ishvati. Bhagavan speaking, if somebody accepted me, if somebody is going to accept me as a prakita kamde, I mean ul madur rasa, like to kiss me, embrace me, it is not dirty. Krishna speaking, it is not dirty. It is topmost. It is excellent. Because in material world, 
Kama is going to throw you in the ocean of misery. But this Aprakita Kama can throw you in the ocean of transcendental bliss. That was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu about Prabhupada Saswami. Sansaru Sindhu Tarani Hidayam Jodi Sat Shankitana Mritara Se Ramati Manusya Premam Buddha Viharani Jodi Chitta Bhitti Chaitanya Chanda Charani Kuruta Nuraga Chaitanya Chanda Charani Kuruta Nuraga He will like to swim in the ocean of blissful prema. Then you will have to worship Gaurang Mahaprabhu. That is the same. So Krishna speaking, in the material world we can find some paddy seed, wheat seed, barley seed, seed. Seed is there. So seed in suitable condition, if you bow in mud and allow sufficient water, light, sunlight, air, then can sprout can come out. But Bhagavan speaking, a prakita kama is such a thing, it can be compared with the fact. What is the fact? If that paddy seed or wheat seed or barley seed, if you are going to boil or fry, if you are going to fry paddy seed and barley seed or wheat seed, anything, then after frying or after boiling, the seed cannot give. Say, you see the excellent example Krishna is giving. Krishna is giving this example. People think it is dirty, but due to my excellent devotional mood inside that gopikas, they are going to purify in such a way. They are all material karma already gone. Material karma seed, material karma seed already fried or boiled. No question of coming out. Even sprout cannot come out. So where, where from this contamination? How you, how you can expect con contamination in them? Bhojita kartita dhana prayo bijayo naishvate. When the seed is fried or boiled, then that seed is become useless. Useless in the sense cannot sprout. You can ask. Same thing. When you are going to do Ananda Bhakti, then all your material, Kama, Mood, everything, Anartha can go away. Then no question of anything. Dirty. So, yesterday I told so many things by the desire of Bhagavan. Also I told Bhagavan speaking <coughs> that Baddhaman upi madbhaktu vishayir ajitendriyaha praya pragala bhaya bhakta vishwair nabhi bhiyate. My devotee, those who are doing an ananda bhajan, mean they are not going to depend on anybody except me. Ananda. One Krishna is Krishna, whatever situation. In that case, In that case, what happened? Mad Bhakta, by chance, somehow, by chance, by chance, somehow, they are feeling attraction, a uh, little bit matter or something. Baddha <coughs> Manu Upi Mad Bhakta. Baddha Manu Upi, what is it in? Baddha Manu. Baddha Manu Upi Mad Bhakta Vishayir Ajitendriya. Praya Pragalabhaya Bhakta Vishayir Navi Bhuyoti. So, Bhagavan speaking, even my Bhakta still today not having sense control. My Bhakta doing my bhajan. I say, Amar Ajitendya Bhakta. Still today not all sense, so I am not completely under control. Still, Due to my devotional practice, though sometimes feeling some disturbance, ultimately get out. So speaking, my Ajitindya devotees, sometimes they feeling some problem due to matter, Baddhuman. But due to 
due to my devotional practice, they are not going to, they are not going to fall down totally. They are not going to fall down totally. Somehow they can, again can. In Gita also I told, Opi chet sudura charo bhajate mam ananna bhag sadureva samantabhya samag vyavasito hisa. Bhagavan speaking in, in Gita, Opichet, I already giving this example, he is doing my bhajan. And by chance some, due to previous habit, previous habit already, previous saskar are going away. Because due to devotional practice, bhakti is like a fire, like going to burn up everything. But by, by chance something there, residue, ah, by chance, going to put him, in, put him in problem, going to put him in problem. In that case, Bhagavan speaking, still you can speak him devotee bhakta. Because purposely he don't like to, Bhakti Thakur giving, writing commentary. Vishwana Chakotibhad, Bhakti Thakur writing commentary. Bhakti Thakur speaking, most of the people, they like to take undue advantage of this sloka to prove themselves as great devotee. Bhakti Mantak speaking. They like to take undue advantage of this sloka to establish themselves as a great devotee. Bhakti Mantak speaking, not that. When you can find that devotee is not at all doing any bad thing, all is busy with bhajan. Not at all doing it. By chance, what happens? Due to some reason, something due to previous saska, a little bit problem. Bhakti Mandar speaking, a devotee like this can be called devotee. But those who are purposely, those who are purposely, yeah, it is written. So I can do it, some wrong job. After that, the official Suzura Chai can say. Bhakti Mandar says, no. By chance, not purposely. He is not doing anything purposely. By chance, happen. Opi Chet Sudura. Opi Chet. Chet means by chance. Opi Chet Sudura Chai. If you find he is doing all wrong activities, dirty, but still, be careful. Bhajate, because he is doing my bhajan. So, Bhagavan speaking, you can simply speak that they are my devotee. Sadureva samantabhya samang babushita isha. His intellect is now well organized. His intellect is now well organized. Sometimes disturb a little jigsha. So, you cannot criticize. This kind of devotee, if some doing, you have no right to do some. Criticize, you cannot do. But for others, they are purposely doing all wrong activities. For them, Opichet Sudurachar, this sloka is not applicable. So, Bhagavan speaking, even those who are doing my bhajan, under the guidance of, bhajan mean under, bhajan mean under the guidance of, bhajan without any guidance, guru is must be there. So, if some, my Ajitendriya, who is not, uh, still today, not having complete control over his sense organ, was doing something wrong, no problem. Bhagavan speaking, Baddha manu upi mad bhakto vishayir Ajitendriya prayo pragalabhaya bhaktya vishayir nabi bhuyate. By the increasing mode, by the increasing mode of his bhajan tendency, increasing mode of his bhajan tendency, then he is not going to, to be destroyed. He is not going to be get destroyed. Somehow he can overcome, somehow he can over overcome this kind of obstacle problem and can find a smooth way of moving forward. Today or tomorrow. I am there to help him. Bhagavan speaking. So, but in Ganmark, 
I can show you so many countless examples. A yoga mark, countless examples from Mahabharata, Ramayana, Puran, so many. They started yoga, they started gyan, they like to get. But in between, in between the midway, some problem happened and they lose everything. In Ganmark, without attaining purity, your Gan can never come out successful at Siddhi. You can Gan Siddhi you cannot get. But regarding Bhakti, not that. Like I already give the example of Jagai Mada. If you engage Jagai Mada in Gan Siddhi, they cannot do. They cannot do. Even if you engage that hunter, cruel hunter, in, uh, uh, by Naraji Maharaj in, in the way of Elihavad. If you engage them, they cannot come. But Bhakti, even Bhakti can stay inside Britta Ashur, Ashur. Somebody asking Maharaj, how possible? How possible he is actually a demon? I say, Bhakti is a natural function of soul. Anyway, he already got Bhakti, already received Bhakti. So Bhakti was there inside uh, with Atma. No connection with the material body. Only if devotion is there, somebody can watch my action and activities, they can do his as Bhakti. Bhakti you cannot see. You can see Bhakti, cannot see. Bhakti cannot be seen. If Bhakti is there inside your heart, by your action, by your activities, then I can realize, oh, this is a sarup lakshan of bhakti, the tatasya lakshan of bhakti. I can calculate. Oh, bhakti is there. But actually, you have no. You cannot see bhakti. Bhakti cannot be seen. Bhakti you cannot see. Follow. So, bhakti is staying with atma. Actually, our bhittasur has not done any offense. In the commentary, we know. Bhittasur has done no wrong. It is one kind of joking. Not done. He never wanted to criticize. But Devi unnecessarily wanted to karsa, curse him. And for that reason, Sankar Bhagavan also told, Devi, you curse him, na? Unnecessarily you curse him. You see the quality of a devotee. He can also give curse to you, but not giving. Shankar Bhagavan speaking. He could easily give you cards, but he is not going to give you cards. He is going to accept. Okay, give. Because he thinks maybe it is a desire of Bhagavan. Otherwise, why Devi can curse me and I can take birth that is demon? But still, inside the heart of the demon, Vrittasur, Bhakti was there. Such a tremendous Bhakti. Of course, not direct bhakti like gopikas. I can someday discuss. There is Pradhani Bhuta and uh, Muksha and Gauno. Vittasur having not Gauna Bhakti, someday I can discuss. Not Muksha, Gauna, but still tremendous bhakti. So Vittasur is expressing such Siddhanta Vishar that Indra gone mad. Indo speaking, how possible? You are demon. You are speaking all Siddhanta Bishar. How possible? Indo speaking. In front of Vrittasu. Yad Asura Bhavam Vyahayo Mahapurushatam Gataha. By leaving demonic character, you are speaking all Bhagavad Siddhanta. How possible? Ajata Paksha Eva Mataram Khaga. Eh? Stannam jatha basataram kudartha priya piye bhushitam vishanya manaha aravinda kshadriddikshetam All Siddhanta Vijaya, Bhagavad Siddhanta. Hey Bhagavan, I like to see your lotus feet. Like one small bird, not even wing is there, cannot fly. Depending on our mother, when can come and give something. Ajata pakshiva. Mataram Khaga, depending on our mother, one can come and get some fruits and flowers, something. Waiting, chi, 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 in the nest. And 
Stannam yatha vasatara kudhartha. Like one calf crying to suck the breast milk of mother. But the cow, I mean, coward boy, not allowing. He like to sell milk in the market. He like to sell milk. So if calf going to take. But our, but our in Gosala, we allow first, allow. Hey, allow him to drink whatever, how much? After you some residue, then Uchista can Giriraj Maharaj can take. Uchista can Giriraj. Gomata Uchista, Giriraj Maharaj can take. After that, he can take a little. Gomata Uchista Krishna can take. Follow. This is the Siddhant. So, Ajata Bhakshaiva Maturam Khaga, to meet with mother, the calf is crying, to meet and go and drink milk. And Priya Priyobo, Priya Priyevo, Bushitam Bishanya. One hero and heroine, they are separated from each other for a long time. Crying cannot bear the separation. Similarly, my mind is crying, crying. I am feeling restless to meet you. Manaha Aravindaksha Diddikshetam. After hearing Indra gone mad, Indra speaking, how possible? You are demon, this kind of body, this, that. But you are expressing this kind of Siddhanta which are how possible. Indra don't know. That he is great devotee. Is great devotee. He don't know. No, no idea. Eh? No idea. This way, bhakti can stay even inside demon or it's not impossible. But Jokshiddhi, one demon cannot get. Not. He need to get perfection first. He need to get perfection first. After that, they can get. But bhakti little bit can be there. Of course, there is some quality. I can day by day discuss. So, Bhagavan speaking, my bhakti, you know, Uddhav, Yathagni, Shu, Sami, it's a printing mistake or some. Yathagni, Shu, Samidhacha, Karoti idhangsi bhasmasvat tatha madhvisaya bhakti ruddhavai vainansi krishna saha. Printing mystic also, very cheap printing. They have no idea, they sell book. So, like one piece of gold, if you burn in the fire, then the more you can burn fire, the more the gold can attain. Purity. The more. So similarly, if bhakti is there, then automatically going to destroy all unwanted element like anartha, annavilas. Actually, this is the general discussion of bhakti. What I'm doing? But if you think about Vishuddha bhakti, main top, then annavilasita sunyam, jnana karmadi anabhitam. Anukulena Krishna Anusilanam Bhakti. I can discuss tomorrow. Excuse me. Today I have to stop and go. So, what I say? Kleshagni, Subhada, Moksha Laguta, Krit, Sudur Lava, Shandra Anandu Vishesh Atma, Shikishna Karsani, Chausa. Tomorrow, this is a general Bhakti. Two types of one is general bhakti and one is special bhakti, which is Shuddha bhakti that we can discuss gradually because bhakti after that the yog portion and yoga siddhi that we can discuss. Also, I can write one small book on yoga siddhi because many people have misconception. They can clarify and small books on yoga, which yoga, which can we are less interested, but. Anyway, Uddhav, Uddhav asking because he need to know everything, somebody can put question. So.